In this video, we'll be talking about multi-line statements. What is this? We can only find out practically. So let's get to our code. You will notice from this PHP file that this code is named multi-line statements. Now let us go to line 3 of this code. We created the variable a and assigned it a value. Now you notice that we now ask PHP to echo or print out the following. Now notice that at the end we have a call to this variable a. Now the point we are trying to bring out here is that this statement spans across multiple lines. So instead of just writing an excessively long statement that, that will span across the space area of your code editor thereby cutting some aspect of the code, it is efficient to bring your statement down to the other line in PHP. So this works just fine in PHP. So if we try to run this code by typing localhost forward slash the name of the file, you will notice that it runs successfully. But at this point, you could say, why isn't there a new line? Or you could say, I know what to do. I'll just come here and put the backslash n. I'll get a new line here, a backslash n, a new line here. I save this and I come and refresh this. Nothing happens. Well, for some reason, the backslash n does not work in all cases. So the way to go about this is by using the new line for HTML. I guess you still remember, very simple. All you need to do is this, introduce the BR tag. So I'll just copy this, use it here, use it here. I'll prefer to use it here two times and save this. Then I refresh the page, you notice that everything jumps to the new line and everything is all aligned properly. So this is just a neat little trick. Now there is another way to go about manipulating the multi-line statement. All you need to do is to introduce this operator that you'll be seeing for the first time. It is three less than signs. Now once that is done, introduce the underscore and then you type e n d yes so at this point we no longer need the double quotes so i'll just arrange the statement on my screen well so that's not to cause some confusion yes now i'll bring this to this side then i'll remove this double quote Something else is also missing. This end that we start here must also be ended somewhere around here. So what I'll just need to type now is underscore and then the E N D. Now, once this is done, you can save your code. Now, remember from we are the best in the world down to this variable is our statement that we actually want to output now this is just assisting us to output it across multiple lines so this is one neat little trick you can also make use of when outputting a statement that spans across more than one line so i have saved this all i'll just need is come here and refresh the page and you notice that nothing happens please be careful some might make this mistake coming behind this first end and putting a space there will lead to an error so if i save this and i refresh this you notice that we have a path error so please do not make any mistake of adding any space here at the end of the first end so i'll just clean that save that refresh that and everything is working just fine. Now that is that about multi-line statements. In the next video tutorial, we'll be talking about variables and constants.